What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a Naruto drawing. We're going to be doing Neji's death. Spoiler. I don't think it, it, this can be counted as a spoiler. I mean, when did this air? Like, 10 years ago? <laughs> like a long time ago. So, <clears throat> Neji's death. He's on, his head is close up on his face, right? It's that moment in the Ninja War. So, close up on his face. I'm on landscape paper. Um... Use a pencil for these, always pencil first, and then you can ink on top, sketch it out lightly, all that kind of stuff, right? So we're gonna start with Neji over here, over on the right-hand side, and we're gonna start with his eyes, so real big eyes, right? Because we're real close up. So, start about here. Just kind of above the center point, we go, like center point's probably about here, and you just come up a little bit, and we're gonna go over. So we just go diagonal first and then sort of straight across kind of. Now some of his eyes are underneath his hair, okay? And what we're gonna do is we wanna thicken this up a little bit. Make it a darker, thicker, heavier line. So you just, you always want your sort of eyelashes to be a thicker line because it makes the eyes stand out a bit more. Kind of like that. And then bottom eyelid underneath, so it, like he's real sleepy, you know, because he's about to kick the bucket. And then this comes across underneath there. Now, a lot of this eye, I think, is like covered with hair down there. So just keep that in mind. And then his iris, so a thicker line just there for the edge of his eye. And then another one sort of there right now in naruto we are in proportion for the eyes right so the width of his eye will fit in between his two eyes and his other eye will start approximately sit there right so quite far over but roughly you can fit a whole eye in there right so and this is where so we go diagonal first Right, so go diagonal and then we go over across. And again, thicken this line up a little bit. Like that, and then bottom eyelid line. like so and iris and like just brackets inside here like that okay so we got some details around his eyes so we got like eyelid line comes across the top there it already sort of brings into life a little bit we got another one here and this eyelid is different on this side, just like another little line coming out there. And on this side, he's got like some hatching lines there like that. And then eyebrows. So he's very thin eyebrows, right? So you just do sort of a line coming across real flat, right? And this is covered by hair, so don't worry too much. And then we just thicken it up right on this end. And then eventually will become a single line. So it's just dark in here. And she has black hair, so we can just color in the eyebrow. And then the other eyebrow over this side, same sort of thing. And thicken her up here. Right, like so. Then we have a line for his nose. Coming down there. And his nostrils. Here. So his mouth, so real flat mouth line, right? Kind of a little bit smiley on the edges, but we'll just 
do a flat line across to about there and like tiny little bit on the edge like curls up a little bit there on one side and then bottom lip line comes across like so and then his chin so square enough sort of chin like that right check proportions eyes maybe because his eyes are i'd say like because his eyes are like semi-closed i would say like here to here top eyelid about the same as nostrils see to chin so here to here nostrils to say top eyelid line is about the same as nostrils to chin so your nostrils about halfway between here and here and then nostrils to just the bottom lip line here is about the same as bottom lip line to chin so your your bottom lip line is about halfway between here and here so there are the proportions you're kind of dealing with so we can attempt to add his jaw and his jaw won't go the whole way up because he's really long hair right so we'll just go this way so there up to there and yeah and then we'll go so he's got like some blood coming out of his mouth right so we'll just draw that in coming down his chin what an edgy i couldn't believe it when when this happened oh man but i guess you kind of had to have a main character because it was a war you know you had to have a main character kind of dying Comes across this way up down and some more coming down here so that's just like colored red it looks like he's fangs now <laughs> um but then so hair right so he's got like real big hair hair spikes sort of coming down say from the top of his head and this will go right down past this eye and I know it's tough to kind of keep them straight but boop and that way right and like his forehead like the size of his forehead eyebrows to forehead is about the same as say eyebrow one then we'll go we'll go eyelid line to the forehead to the top of the forehead is about the same as eyelid line maybe to the bottom of the nose roughly so here to here is about the same as here to here okay so like this area is halfway between top of his forehead and his nose right so he has um hairline coming across his forehead so these sort of zigzag lines like this and then one in the middle right right in the middle like a v and then we'll go across the other way like that and then over here we meet more hair spikes that come down across his face so down there cover some of his eye Doosh. sound effects drawing sound effects and there's like a single strand of hair like there and then another like that um, and then more hair comes down this way real long don't take here spike and this is a spike as well is it yeah kind of go that way um right so some more details on the face before we finish the rest of the hair right so we've got like like some real tired lines around his around his eyes here now that we just now that we have the face kind of framed in we can just add a bit more these and he's got like all these little dots and scratch marks and stuff they're kind of done with dots more so in naruto than dash lines or stuff like that some of his forehead
And then, do, 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 do. and okay. And then he has that X on his, that's sort of the mark his clan has on his forehead. Well, not all of his clan, but certain people in it. Right, so then there. And it's a thicker line, so we'll just we'll add sort of these ends on them, right like that, and then cross this kind of X thing. And then I'll, I'll just thicken them up, right? And do the same thing here. And then it's just yes, a case of making them a bit thicker. Right, kind of like that. And then we have another one here. Hooks around, goes underneath his hair, there. And then the other is opposite, so hooks down, kind of comes around this way, and goes underneath his hair, there. Right, roughly speaking, like that. Right, so then, rest of his hair, up around his head, right? So down here, we got, say this line might come a little bit further. And then we have some more spikes. Um, right there. And then we have another spike coming down here. And then we go up. I think this one then will go all the way up to the top of the page then. It kind of goes around his head. I think there's like another line here. Right, this one will go all the way up. Around like so. And then on this side, so you just add some hair spikes. Another one going this way, and then it'll come back up. Let's so let's see, we'll go, we'll go this way. That, and then there's another hair spike here. And then this one goes up and kind of stops, so it goes. Does that go the whole way? Yeah, it's like a hairline on the front, like that. But he's more hair coming down the back of his shoulder, so coming out here. So that stops about there because it goes behind his shoulder. And like you know, you can rub out these or color over them. You know, wherever you see hairlines. So now. His head is re we'll do his shoulder first. His head is resting on Naruto's shoulder. We'll do his shoulder first. So it comes down. This is like his armor. Right? And then it has a line. You know that collar that they have, the ninjas wear? That way. And then his shoulder comes down that way. And again, dots and scratches and all that good stuff. And then shoulder for Naruto goes this way. Down there. Naruto has some scratches on his shoulder as well. Because they're in a war. So they got some scratches. Not too bad for war, just to get a good scratches. <laughs> and this line goes that way. Like some of his collar just underneath here. Right, so we'll finish Naruto's back and shoulder coming across here, right? So we got like a line here, bumps up that way. And then bumps down across here. And then the top of his collar kind of comes this way. It goes underneath his, the bits that hang down for his headband, but we'll draw it all in anyway. And this comes across here, like a full line there. That. So this is like Naruto's back. 
And then his head, we can just see like the back of his hair and like his headband like coming down here. We'll draw on the headband because it's like covering everything. So you just have this knot tied up here, okay? Right, kind of like that. And then this big long flowing headband part goes right down off the page, okay? Now remember these things move in the wind. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. You know, I'm not being super careful. I'm just right. Generally, something like that. You can erase these. So then we can see his hair, right? So we got like a hair spike here. And it comes down behind these, underneath them. Naruto's bottom of his hair, just these standard sort of triangle like spikes. And this one goes up around the back of his ear. So we rarely draw the back of ears on this channel, but we're going to draw one now. Right? Um, and then like back of his jaw or something here. So, and then he has this black collar that comes across, you know, Naruto's sort of bumping kind of collar here goes up just underneath we can see underneath his hair a little bit here and can you see on the other side just here so this is lines that come down here They are double lines. Oops. Okay. So that means one there and then one here. Yeah, I guess that makes sense because they kind of dip in. It's like a shadow on the inside of them. And we can only see one on this side. So the side of Naruto's face comes out here. And then we meet that ear I was talking about, right? So we've got like top of his ear up here. Kind of curves around. And then down this way. And around for there. So this is his earlobe, top of his ear, and then the back of his ear where it joins his head kind of curves that way. And we can see one of his um, whiskers and kind of marks on his face. So, a bit more hair over here. Yes, no, yes. Like a little spike there, and his other ear, and his earlobe, just there. And then the headband will go down behind his ear on that side, and then it will go down around like there, and kind of curve up, and then more hair there. Then we have some hair coming down back of his head this way should we see more yeah, it's like headband and then there's like one coming down behind Neji's head here oh, maybe off that way and then some more of his headband here here and then we'll go out the other side that way boop and kind of the front of his headband here and then Neji's other shoulder, so it's like here, lines up, just goes in front of Naruto's face. Like so. And there. And again, as much sort of scratch marks and dots and stuff as you want the Naruto. And erase your lines. And color, if you like coloring. Don't, you can leave it as a pencil drawn, shade it in maybe. What do you like doing? Do you like coloring or do you like shading? Let me know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye now.